Synchrotron and X-Far radiation represent perhaps the most powerful and multidisciplinary modern probes for the study of the structure of matter in fields as diverse as physics, chemistry, biology, material science, earth sciences, environmental sciences, and cultural artifact restoration. Indeed, there are few scientific and engineering disciplines for which synchrotrons or X-Files can't provide valuable and often surprising insights. X-rays have the uniquely useful properties that they are partially transparent to solid objects, allowing their inner architecture to be investigated. While their wavelengths are comparable to typical interatomic distances and can, moreover, be tuned to be resonant with electron binding energies in atoms. Synchrotrons are exceedingly bright sources of ultraviolet and X-radiation. In terms of their brightness, modern synchrotrons are to laboratory-based sources what modern computers are to the Colossus valve-based computer used to crack the Enigma code in 1943. X-valves are a further 10 orders of magnitude brighter still. My name is Phil Wilmot, titular professor of physics at the University of Zurich and science coordinator at the Swiss Light Source Synchrotron Facility at the Palscher Institute in Switzerland. Over nine weeks, this unique massive open online course introduces basic concepts invaluable to synchrotron and x science, from the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter, through the production of synchrotron and x beams and their manipulation with X-ray optics, to an in-depth overview of the three broad experimental approaches of A, X-ray diffraction and scattering, B, X-ray spectroscopies, and C, X-ray imaging. These allow one, for example, to study the detailed atomic structure and folding configurations of protein molecules, often containing several tens of thousands of atoms using diffraction, probe the chemical composition of the feathers of Archaeopteryx fossils using X-ray fluorescence, follow the configuration of the flight muscles during flight in common blowflies using microtomography, and map out the nanometer detailed architecture of complex hierarchical structures over several length scales using scanning scattering techniques. I invite you to join me in delving into the fascinating, surprising and burgeoning synchrotron and XL techniques that are today touching an unparalleled vista of scientific disciplines.